Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host Frank the Tank and today we have something special. We have a surface but today we're gonna go under the hood. So what happened was um, this machine was working very well for a point. It was really awesome. I mean people love this machine for quite a while but the only thing is just like there's a couple of the features that are missing on this and one of them to get access to your hard drive and add memory it's just impossible but today we got the privilege of, of having a breakdown and we're gonna open it up and see what's under the hood so today's episode it's a under what's under the hood of a actual uh, uh, surface so the problem was with this um and this is like the fifth machine i see with this problem so i'm gonna show you guys so let me remove the keyboard first of all right so the machine can stay by itself if you guys can see it it's wobbly if you guys can see it so i'm gonna show you a side angle of it what's happening here uh, I'm gonna show you where it's popping out. So I'm gonna show you a side angle of here, this part right here. It's you can't hardly see it that much. It's not very very good um, view, but it's popping out. The glass is already shattered from one end. Um, the battery itself is bulging up. It's it's an old battery. So today we're gonna try to see if we can take this whole thing apart and see what we could get and salvage the hard drive if we can out of this one. So, oh. The reason that this machine went bad is because um, there was a the battery is bulging up right now. It's ready to burst. Um, it's flammable, so you guys be gotta be careful what you do with this stuff, and you gotta remove a couple of things. If you guys can see, you can't see the hard drive in here. It's embedded in here. We're gonna look for it right now and see if we could get it out. But the inside of it, this is basically the keyboard. The the keyboard that connects to it. It's right underneath of it. This is the glass itself, the touchscreen glass. And there's a couple of screws that you have to remove in here and make sure you have some safety goggles on this because um, this could burst any time I'm gonna save the screw we don't need them and we're gonna be careful on how to remove the stuff here if you guys can see the battery the battery is about to go if you guys I just depressurized the battery completely remove that stuff so this is done this is toast this this whole unit's toast Right now what we're trying to do is just we're trying to recover the hard drive that's what we want so none of these devices are going to be reused this is all recycled and we're going to try to remove piece by piece all right so we remove this completely out of the way we're going to have to remove we're going to have to go inside here Let's see if i could get this thing to open up Cool. you guys can see i was really hesitant about moving it but this is the only way you hit one of the corners without damaging it and taking up the whole thing here it is so if you guys can see microsoft makes it almost impossible to get to this system and here's the hard drive that we want to get this is the actual hard drive we're going to remove it and we're going to remove the content out and after we could toss this away I mean, this this is dead on arrival to begin with, and I'm gonna keep this screw because it's a very valuable screw. It's one of the hardest screws to find, uh, so we're gonna keep it together here, and we're gonna actually de take this apart. So the screw. So if you guys can see it, I took it apart right now, and I'm gonna lift it now with one end without scratching it, and just pull it pull it away, pull it away. There's the M.2. This is the actual hard drive we just took from this surface. Uh, very difficult to get to. Uh, not very simple. I mean, if you lost your hard drive, uh, if you lost your surface and it completely shatter or something happens and you have no warranty or anything like that, but you still value your data, this is one way you can do it. Um, once you recover this, this is out of what you're, you're, there's no going back. This is trash to begin with, but if you're gonna throw it away, make sure you e-cycle everything. All the components uh, hazardous, including the battery. So this is very dangerous to do this. I don't recommend anybody to do this, but because I needed to recover the hard drive and I need some data, this is the necessary must, all right? So just to let you guys know where it's located, this thing goes above here. So basically the copper plate covers the whole batteries, the two batteries. Um, it covers this GPU, CPU, and this cover itself was basically here where the, C, the, the SSD 
SSD M.2 was located at. So you basically have to remove it. And this is very flimsy aluminum, very simple to remove. Um, but like I said, once you put it in there, look at this, it's falling. It falls apart. It falls apart. This is not meant to take off. Uh, Microsoft does not want you to actually access any of this stuff, any of the components. Uh, but other than that, if you have any questions in how to recover your stuff, this is one way you can do it, how to recover uh, uh, a Microsoft Surface. And if you have any questions or any comments, hit me up. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, out.